Master Duality is available to farm this week if you would like to go ahead and hop in on Master Mode and try and get yourself some Artifice Armor. However, before you do that, let me tell you right now that the drops are not the juiciest of all time. They are actually kind of pitiful. You definitely still get some decent ones to drop for you, but it's definitely not like it was when it was in rotation right before Lightfall dropped. But if you still plan on farming Keitel this week, I still got some stuff that may help you out here. Real quick, here are your modifiers for Master Mode this week. We got Void Surge, Strand Surge, and then Overture charge sniper and with the nerf to linear fusion rifles going into lightfall and the change to master content in general the old way of baking Keitel's health bar with bait and switch cataclysmics is no longer on the table so we're gonna have to optimize and change up the damage strat a little bit and we're gonna do that by taking advantage of the void surge and we're actually gonna go ahead and slot on the retrofit escapade from season of the seraph this lmg with good old four times and target lock is going to be an absolute beast in the specific scenario we have volatile flow in the artifact so it's very easy to get the volatile Volatile rounds, and without Keitel's actual damage phase works, you can easily cook this boss by having a full mag ready to go for each bell. And if you're lucky, you'll be able to proc volatile flow each time you go into damage. And even if you don't, the LMG is still gonna put in a respectable amount of work with very little effort. And if you want to try and sneak in a little bit of extra damage, which you can go ahead and do, is slot on the Izanagi's Burden Sniper Rifle in your kinetic slot because we have overcharged sniper rifle. Load up a honed edge times four shot before each bell, and then fire it before you switch to your LMG. And the Izanagi shot will do about an extra 140-150k bare minimum. Don't forget to put on some triple void surges because we want that LMG to be doing a bit of extra damage. And for myself personally, the weapon that I use the majority of the time is going to be the Hollow Denial Trace Rifle, the most sought after weapon in Lightfall. And unfortunately, there's no direct way to farm it anymore. If you don't have one, all I can say is check Bansi, check Zer every week, cross your fingers and hope you're lucky. But the main reason that I'm using the Hollow Denial is is three things mainly two one it's void surge so it's going to be doing 25 percent extra damage two it has repulsor brace meaning anytime i kill an enemy that is volatile i'm going to get myself an overshield and third because it's a trace rifle so double special so more heavy drops but a weapon that you could use to substitute here would be a repulsor brace unforgiven that repulsor brace overshield in this area this encounter is so clutch and keeping you alive bro it it's actually insane how good repulsive brace is for this like i'm not trying to be that guy but it is quite literally a night and day difference when using a weapon with repulsive brace and using one without it trust me and try it for yourself now i know the champion modifiers say that you have to worry about anti-barriers which technically they exist but the actual champions are just going to be the colossus on each end of the nightmare room when you teleport in there to go pick up symbols they turn into anti-barriers and you can just literally ignore them pretend they're not even there bro they're only in there when you go to pick up the symbols they won't be in there when you go to do actual damage so those anti-barriers are every youtuber's worst nightmare they are irrelevant and if you've been keeping count and you're using the same setup we are using here in the video your void weapons are going to be having that juicy 47 percent bonus damage in here whenever you have an armor charge 25 percent from the void surge is free and you're going to be wearing three void surges for 22 percent extra damage to your void weapons meaning that even though you're 20 light under your hollow denial is going to absolutely just melt through every enemy here including the yellow bars and that retrofit it's gonna go burr but real quick i'd like to reiterate what i said at the start of the video i don't think this is the best artifice armor farm for your time the stats and the spikes are just low and are in kind of the wrong places but if you still plan to use some of your time this week inside of this encounter i hope this helps you thank you for giving me over three minutes of your time have a great day consider subscribing we'll see you guys in the next one y'all be safe